just like triggered hardcore. So I am just looking for my um, kind of like not antihistamine, but like um, my decongestant. Decongestant. Um, so sorry for the for a minute, but Not in here. Could be in here. Keep looking. I know I saw it recently. Uh, red, the color of desire. Black, my heart when she's not there. Red, she sets my soul on fire. I'm just being silly, by the way. That's not actually how I sing. Um, I think we all have those moments where we just want to joke around and like pretend like we're belting it, but not really belt it. Or, or is it just me? Good. A lot of that tends to be the I lack sleep, so I'm just going to be silly. <sighs> Maybe if I just try blowing my nose. Watch this. I'm going to blow my nose and then I'm going to be like... <laughs> like really bad. This is just how it's gonna work. Actually, uh, I think that was good. We're gonna hope that that was enough. Okay, so buttonholes. First coffee. Because this lady here, she needs her cup of joe. She needs her cup of joe quite badly. Joe, my joe, come back to me. Okay, sorry. Um, most of you guys have no idea what the hell that was. So, um, it's... That was actually a pagan song. Um, like, I'm, I'm pagan, so I'm, I'm Wiccan. Uh, I tend to not use the term Wiccan as much because... Uh, I, I tend to not use the word Wiccan as much just because, in general, Wiccans tend to worship more like Celtic and Greek pantheons in general um, and while one of my patreons is Greek the other one's actually a Hindu goddess um, and like it trust me I do so very respectfully um, and actually I've spoken to um, a good amount of Indian friends and because I was always like really kind of like what would be the word kind of nervous about somebody's reaction to it because I'd be like well you know well, like how would somebody react if I tell them that you know one of the pantheons that I worship is like one of their deities that they worship you know um, and Funny enough, I've never had a negative reaction um, speaking to Indian people. Like where I'm like, yeah, actually, like, like very shyly, like being like, well, I like I, I worship Kali, and they'll be like, oh, like, and they'll be like super like excited about it, and like, um, I remember uh, the, this one guy, like we had gone on a few dates and stuff, and then like I had mentioned that that. I worship Kali and like my experiences and why she ended up being someone that um, that I worshipped, right? Like, cause um, my experiences with my matron and my patron have they're they're personal, they're they're mine. But both of them 
came to me you know what I mean like actually both of them I had no no interests in them as pantheons whatsoever never would have even thought of them but then now that they are my 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 pantheons um it makes absolute sense like the more that i learn about it i'm like the more i'm like oh okay yeah no it makes sense you know um Um, yeah, so Kali and Dionysus are my patrons, uh, my patron and my matron. <laughs> um, and here, turn on, Book. brew, 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 there you go. Um, just getting the coffee done. And I have a cookie over here. Hello. Hello, good boy. Come here. Come say hello. This old man wants to say hello. Oh, hello. What's up? What's up, old man? Did you know you're beautiful? You're very derpy beautiful. Yes, you are. And thank you for not going to wake up your mama. Because, uh, he kept his mama up all night. Kept waking her up every hour on the hour going, Hey, it's food time. Oh my God, let's go. Let's go. Uh, patron and matron. So uh, patron um, comes from the word patron. Uh, pa pater. I forget. Anyway, but basically it means like your, your father figure your patron so basically your patron god would be like the male god that you worship um in wicca and paganism usually you have a female aspect um a female aspect goddess that you worship and a male aspect god that you worship and it's kind of like a you know like in order to have um like you can't have a, a, a man without a woman or a woman without a man not not in the ho homophobic way of it it's the, just that the you have like the divine feminine and the divine masculine and uh, you know everybody has some of both you know what I mean uh, but anyway so Kali is my matron which is you know like my my feminine goddess that I worship and then Dionysus is my um, my male you know god that i worship now funny enough though um it just it makes me laugh a lot because anytime anytime that somebody finds out i worship dionysus they're like ah oh, the god of wine and fornication you know and it's like no he's so much more than that like oh my god so much more like he's the patron god of the arts and agriculture and like all of these things that I'm into, yes, real ritualistic excess, he's like full on god of hedonism, but um, that's just like such a small part of him. There's so much more that's so interesting about him. And Kali, um, Kali would definitely be like the ultimate goddess uh, to worship for people who have been hurt. Or who you know who who need a very nurturing aspect de deity um, because even though she looks she looks extremely scary like the first time I saw her because like I didn't know who I was being drawn to I knew that she would be um, she was a goddess that would definitely be seen as a like dark aspect goddess dark does not mean evil dark is just like um, oh my god how to explain that like I it's been so long since I've been in like my like research and everything and like over over researching everything but dark dark aspect just means like they're they're a lot stronger in in you know like they oh it's hard hard to explain anyway um and I'm like super tired so I'd be like oh my god trying to explain that right now but anyway um I knew that was fierce and she was definitely like a dark aspect goddess very very fearsome 
um, I knew that she was not subtle whatsoever because basically when I first had her in um, kind of start making herself known to me it was at a time when I was extremely 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 depressed very very down and basically I remember just kind of like talking to you know the universe and basically being like I need help I can't I, I can't do this and like I was like I need I need help and like basically it was literally a like oh okay you asked for help you're gonna get help um, it may not be exactly what you're wanting, but it's going to be what you need. And it was basically as if, you know, somebody just grabs you by the back of the hair and drags you kicking and screaming going, yeah, you're going to get out of your depression, whether you like it or not. Um, cause I know you suffer from depression. So I would, by the way, my cousin is watching and so she is commenting, but she's commenting in the message thing. That's why I'm talking to someone that you don't see in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's why like, you know, I, I'm sure you fully know about this because you you do suffer from depression there are times when we're depressed where we almost become content in our misery we almost enjoy that misery and even though we want to get out of that depression we almost want to stay in it too whether it's a like we deserve what we have or whether it's a like i kind of like that feeling of of misery like it, it can be multiple different things but it's almost this like i i don't i almost don't want to help myself and get crawl out of this depression that i have you know like we we've all had that especially teenage angst like stage i knew like, as a teenager like i was i was miserable but i was almost happy being miserable <laughs> being that angsty teenager that I was um I'm so happy that I am I have my meds I have my support system I you know like all of these things now but at the time you know but yeah we all like anyone who has depression has had that I feel like I I, I haven't talked to any one of my friends who's had depression who hasn't agreed with me with that whole like being depressed and not wanting to get out of it like you're like almost happy in, in your misery you know um so anyway the like it, she was so not subtle like I basically it was like eh, it doesn't matter like I remember basically at one point being like I'm I forgot my lunch again I'm starving I'm miserable I have to go through another like five hours of work with no food in me like and it was my lunch time and I was like I, I can't I can't deal and um I basically I was like just kind of let it out to the universe and I was like I, I need help I can't you know and literally I went I, I kind of wiped my tears put my big girl panties on and got out of the bathroom after I like wiped cold water on my face so I wasn't as red and puffy and I sat down Cody Cody no 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 So anyway, as soon as I get to that table and I sit down, um, the the woman um, at the cafeteria literally comes out and goes, "Hey, I have these sandwiches that uh, are gonna go bad. Like they're they're still good, but they're gonna go bad. Um, who wants one?" So I ended up with like two sandwiches. Boom! As soon as like just sat down, boom! There's the sandwiches. And then, like, I literally was like, so I'd like to reconnect with my spiritual side. And as soon as I let that out, like, you know, you could, I could almost, like, feel her there. And, like, as soon as, like, I told her that, everyone I was meeting was, like, a Reiki master, a pagan, um, a, a Wiccan high priestess. Like, everyone I was meeting was some form of spiritual. And it just, like, went on and on and on like that. And all of these different things. And, um, 